is a comparative advantage question. If you haven't learned how to make one of these charts and work out these questions, then go ahead and watch the video lessons on the unit menu. For many students, this is probably the hardest concept in all of unit one. The first thing I did is I transferred this information from this graph into this chart. All right, so Brazil can produce 30 sugar or 20 wheat. Peru can produce 20 sugar or 20 wheat. Now let me show you how you calculate per unit opportunity cost to figure out which country has a comparative advantage. For Brazil, each one sugar costs a certain amount of wheat. Well, it costs two thirds of wheat, all right? And for Peru, each one sugar costs one wheat. Brazil produces wheat. Each wheat they produce, one wheat costs them a certain number of sugar. In this case, it's three halves of a sugar they could have produced, their opportunity cost, per unit opportunity cost. For Peru, each one of these wheat they can produce, one wheat costs them one sugar. Now all you gotta figure out is which country has a comparative advantage or a lower opportunity cost. Well, two thirds is less than one, and so Brazil has a comparative advantage in the production of sugar, and one is less than three halves, so Peru has a comparative advantage in the production of wheat. Now let's look at some of the wrong answers, okay? Peru does not have an absolute advantage in the production of sugar. An absolute advantage is the one that can produce more. So Brazil can produce 30 sugar, and Peru can only produce 20. And so Peru does not have an absolute advantage. The concept of comparative advantage shows that both these countries can benefit from trade. But the terms of trade have to be beneficial for both countries. 